give your award to anybody else, not necessarily people you're up against, but anyone else, who would you give Fresh it to? Fresh Meat Cast, definitely. Nice. Give it to Greg, who I'm sat next to tonight. It's definitely be good to give it to him. Very nice. Yeah. Um, I would give it to... Um, I would, generally, generally, I would give it to Michael Crawford for the character of Frank Spencer. Fantastic. One of the funniest characters I've ever seen. And I just absolutely clarify, that is not irony. I love, uh, I love some of the two I don't know where that came from, but I'm old. No, I'm with you. Is it any funnier than that? Probably Paul, Paul Whitehouse. I mean, he, 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 he's, he's someone I feel a very close affinity with, you know, um, because he's, he's always done you know, comedy, comedy uh, that comes from a, a love of humanity, and uh, and there's always um, there's never any kind of nastiness in, in his comedy, and I, I, I like that. Doing a thing tonight where we're getting everybody to come up with a question that we ask the next person along. Genius. So, what Genius. would your question be? Uh, ask Lee Mack if he's going to take his suit back to George at Asda when the awards is over. Okay, it's a pity Jack's not behind me because I'll say, when are you going to grow pubes on your cock instead of just your face? Um, but uh, who's next in line? Well, I'm reckoning it might be Nina, so what's your question for I would her? say to Nina, why do you always carry that thing around that attaches onto people's faces? That Because without that, I would have been stuck and had nothing to say on stage. I love Nina Conti. But not just for that reason, I genuinely like Nina. I think she's genuinely one of the... She really makes me laugh. I've seen her do ventriloquism. So ventriloquism is like an uncool form of comedy, but actually it's really good if it's done well. His question for you was, he loves you, when he knew you were hurt. So we don't know who's coming next, but what would your question be for whoever comes along next? We don't know who they are. No, so it's going to be a mystery, but we will let them know that it's from you. Um, what's your favourite sentence? Okay. And the winner is the League of Gentlemen. Very Pretty good. good. Very so, have you got a question for? I'm guessing it will be. It might be Johnny. What about? Tell us about the time you nicked them plastic flowers to give to Elsie. That's a private joke, but he'll get it. Fantastic. Yeah. What about the time you nicked them plastic flowers to give to Elsie? And he'll tell you, and you'll be here for 45 minutes. So good luck. Hope you've got plenty of film in your camera. I, uh, one night, uh, uh, Elsie got ill, uh, the lady who plays my mother on Benidorm, and she had sunstroke, and somebody forgot to apply, because we need it applied for us, because we're actors, uh, sunscreen, and she was ill in a room, so I stole a massive bouquet from the reception, thought it was a joke, I'd, I'd had a few, and but never replaced them, and apparently they charged production a fortune for them. But she put them in a room, and watered them for a week and didn't realise they were plastic until her husband turned up to nurse her and and, and she went, they've really kept. I don't know what it is. It must be Spain, it must be the humidity. Brilliant. Without noticing that the water was pouring out the back of the basket and was very close to starting an electrical fire. I almost killed my mum through plastic flower kindness. Thank God he came in when he did, because I dropped the flowers off and then I went back out and I, I, I actually, I, I, I should have thought of going back and asking how she was. I just thought a stolen gift. Felt a bit like Robin Hood. You know, taking from the, the Spanish and, and giving to the to the poor. And then I went back and actually read the story of Robin Hood. He never rubbed flowers. He took money and, and gave it to the poor. So I was just an idiot abroad. I should be on BBC Three in some kind of really crap documentary. Stealing plastic flowers and helping no one.